Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike from MoboxGraphics.com and we're back with another video. And if you're like me, then you complain about every Adobe After Effects update that comes out. It feels like every time they introduce a new feature, they're also introducing new bugs and breaking old features. And then you find out that the new features also don't work either. So uh, with that in mind, it wouldn't be a surprise that when they announced the Essential Graphics panel a few updates ago, um, possibly up to a year ago at this point, I was very uninterested and I didn't even try to use it. Um, to be honest, I didn't really even know what it was up until a few days ago when I was looking for a way to speed up my workflow. So um, I gave it a shot, I cracked it open, I read the manual on Adobe's website and there's actually some pretty cool useful things here um, to help save you time. So um, I'm just going to show you what it is. Um, this isn't going to be an in-depth tutorial on how to use it, but this will be kind of an introduction as to what you could do with it. Um, because truthfully, once you know the bare bones, then you could be as creative as you want and do whatever you want with it. So um, here we are in After Effects and I just created this little lower third here. It's really simple. Um, if you want to download it, it's our Patreon site, but um, it's very simple to make. It took me maybe 15 or 20 minutes, uh, mostly because I suck at After Effects. But um, <laughs> this, if I wanted to do, if I had a client, let's say, and this was our standard lower third, and uh, every time we interviewed somebody and every time we got a guest on the show, I had to remake the lower third. Well, that's great for me who knows how to use After Effects, but it's not great for my editor who's using Premiere Pro. Um, I don't like to do these small little tasks all the time. And um, it's quite frustrating when someone doesn't understand After Effects and you have to do all their work for them. So that's why After Effects and Adobe created the Essentials panel. So you can see here that I don't have the Essential panel um, on, but if you just go to Windows and then Essential Graphics panel, it'll open up this brand new window. Um, it's actually fairly large and obtrusive, which would be a complaint that I would have for it. But besides that, it's actually pretty great. So what does it do? Um, first thing you wanna do is you wanna select the composition. So I named this composition lower third, and you'll see here that it some of these settings start to become available. So I'm just gonna name this um, Mobox lower third template. And uh, what I could do here is I could hit solo properties, and this will go into my composition and open up every property that I can use in um, the Essentials graphics. So let me just kind of show you what I mean by that. So in this graphic, I may want to um, allow the user to change the background color. So in my project, I will search for the background color. So it would be the main shape, the color. I could just drag that right into the Essentials panel. I obviously want them to be able to change the name. So I would go to the text and I would find where it says source text and I would drag that in. Another thing with text that you may notice if you do these all the time is that the length of the word will mean that sometimes it bleeds over. So I'm also gonna just get the scale of the text just so um, if it does bleed over, you could just scale it down. It's not perfect, it's not a great solution, but for this tutorial, it's good enough. And then I'm just going to grab maybe the lower shapes color as well. Just drag that in. Um, I can do some other things like maybe the position um, on the null object, but that seems pretty much it. So I'm just gonna rename these to main banner color. Source text is fine. Um, I'm gonna name this to maybe source text. Scale is fine. Um, See, now we're gonna to wanna to make sure that these are listed and named very, very clearly because the, the person, again, the person that edits is, is really usually pretty slow and stupid. So um, the, the clearer you make this, the easier it is for them um, and their smaller brains. So um, I'm just gonna rename this to banner position. No, I'm just kidding, they're not stupid. Um, they just do stuff differently and a lot of times the person that does the motion graphics also does the editing. Uh, I'm just going off personal experience when I'm, I'm an editor and I'm pretty stupid. So <laughs> um, next thing you wanna do is you want to export this motion graphics template. You can add some comments here. 
um, if your editor or if your editor actually is really stupid. Um, but this should be enough. So I'm just going to export this to the motion graphics template. Um, it's going to ask you if you want to save. I'm just going to click yes. Um, I'm going to save mine to my desktop. You may want a folder to put these in, but I just saved mine. I browsed to my desktop and I saved it. So I'll save it right here, um, which I already did. So I won't save it again, or maybe I will save it again just um, for the sake of this tutorial. Hit save. And it's going to ask you if you want to warn people if there's compatibility issues. So if the font, for example, they don't have the font or um, if it's a motion template that requires after effects. So some effects that you add will require after effects. Um, I just select the two just to be better safe than sorry and hit OK. So it tells me that this this font is not in um, built in. So that's OK. I'm just going to hit OK. And now we're going to jump into Premiere Pro. So here we are in Premiere Pro um, and we want to add the lower third to this. So to get the uh, effects panel in this, you just simply again go to Windows and Essentials Graphics panel and mine opened up on a secondary display. And what you're gonna see here is that there are a ton already built in. So um, if you're a fan of Drama Alert, then you may wanna use something like that. Um, and then there are some other kind of corny ones that um, if you are a kind of third tier um, news channel, you may want to just use this stock one. Um, that actually looks pretty cool. Um, I won't knock them too hard. That actually looks kind of cool. Um, anyways, you can do all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of ones that are built in. There's some cool sports ones too. So I want to add mine though. Um, I'm going to go to install motion graphics template. I'm going to go to where I, I saved it, which is the desktop and hit open. So it will populate here and these are in alphabetical order, luckily. So I'm just going to scroll down to Mobox lower third and drag that right onto my composition. So you can see here that it's saved right in the center. And that's because this is not the one that I originally saved. Um, let me actually import. I imported both of them while I tested this. So, oh, here it is. It's Mobox Lower Third version two. Mobox Lower Third template. So when I select this Lower Third template, you'll see here that it gives me all of the options. I'm just gonna cover my stupid face. It gives you all of the options that you gave the editor. So um, you could type the name, so I can hit at, at Mike in HD, and that fits. If it didn't fit, I could scale it down or scale it up if I'd like. Uh, and I could change the colors. So let's say I want my main banner color to be, um, I don't know, what's a good color? Oh, that kind of purple is kind of cool. And then I want my secondary color to be the same. I could just select it. And in my project file, I added a little bit of a blackness over the color. So it makes it a little bit darker so it stands out. But this color you could also change um, to something crazy like that. And then I could change the position. Um, different composition sizes may be different. Um, let's say for some examples, you want it in the top corner, some you want it at the bottom. That's why I added the banner position. And now when I play this, it has the full animation built in and it already changed the text and the colors and everything and it works fine. And it looks really cool. So that's what the whole thing is about. That's what the essential graphics panel is all about. Um, I was totally stupid and I ignored it because I've been burned too many times by Adobe in After Effects, but I was wrong this time and this was actually a really great feature and I could totally see how this will save me time on large productions in the future. So um, if you want to download this little lower third template, you can just go over to our Patreon account um, and I believe at the $3 level you can download all project files. and. Let me know in the comments down below what other features in After Effects have been added that you don't think people are talking about or are using enough, uh, me included. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and check out other videos on this channel. Anyways, thanks for watching.